All right. Now we're doing free code camp, JavaScript algorithms and data structures, ES6, use destructuring assignment to assign variables from nested objects. All right. So we can use the same principles from the previous two lessons to destructure values from nested objects. Using an object similar to previous examples, we've got this object right here, where a user has a uh, John Doe property and its value is this other, is the second uh, or nested uh, object that has age and email for properties, all right? So here's how to extract, pardon me, here's how to extract the value, pardon me, here's how to extract the values of object properties and assign them to variables with the same name. So we do something like this, const John Doe and then age email equals user. So now it's extracting the age, which is 34, and the email, which is user, all right? And here's how we can assign an object's properties values. Let me read that again. And so here's how we can assign an object properties values to variables with different names, right? So we've got the constant, we've got the John Doe here. And inside of this object, we've got age and we're assigning the age value, the 34 to user age. And we're assigning a user email, pardon me, this, uh, this string right here. You get what I'm doing to uh, this variable user email right here uh, using this syntax where we've got, well, you can see the syntax. Anyway, uh, so we're going to replace the two assignments with an equivalent destructuring assignment. It should still assign the variables low today and high today, the values of today.low and today.high from the local forecast object. All right. So for this one, let's get rid of everything from here on, from the L to the uh, semicolon. And let's look at this. So we're gonna assign this value, excuse me, we're gonna assign this value to this variable and this value to this variable using this syntax, right? So first things first, let's say constant, we'll make a uh, set of curly braces and we'll say, uh, let's look up here. So it's like this John Doe thing. So we'll say today to start off with. So we'll say today, all right? And now we're going to have a colon and we'll have another set of curly braces. And we'll say first low is now gonna be low today, all right? Just like this, just how this is uh, age is user age. It's low, low today, all right? And then we'll have a comma after low today. Well, it's not a comma, that's not a comma. All right, we'll have a comma after low today and we'll say a uh, high colon high today, like that. And now we've got that going on and we've got the double curly braces. So now let's say, now this equals local forecast, all right? So we'll drop this off just like that. And let's cap it off with a semicolon for best practice. All right, so let's come down here and say uh, console.log. And we'll say low today to see if we got it right. 64, 64, all right? Let's do high today. All right, H-I-G-H -H today. 77, 77 looks like we got it going on right there. So let's run the test. Looks good and submit it. And submit. Okay, there we go. All right. Now we're on to use destructuring assignment to assign variables from arrays. And we'll see you next time.